people of the world what is going on welcome to the first of a series of tour diaries which uh, we're going to be documenting it's the beginning now of this world tour we're on we are going to be all over the world we are in Europe now uh, we're going to be in Amsterdam UK all over Germany um, Switzerland heading over to the US then to Australia then to New Zealand the next couple of months are going to be nuts and I just wanted to document it, make sure that I'm capturing some of this stuff um, while I can. There's so many uncertainties that lay ahead on this perilous path, um, such as the fact that the album's only been released two weeks ago and I'm going to be playing so many of the new, new songs. Uh, it's a terrifying feeling. I don't know how audiences are going to connect with it. I don't know if they're going to know any of the words, any of the songs yet, so there's a lot of fear on that side. We're also starting with some of the biggest shows first, um, like massive venues like Paradiso and going to Shepherd's Bush in London which has been like a bucket list show of mine for years. Um, there's also the uncertainty around all these new cities we're playing, you know we're playing cities we've literally never been in before and um, we've got shows that are sold out already in those cities which is also just crazy so excited and nervous to know what happens there. We also have scaled up the band in a sense. I've brought along um, Nate Woodman, for instance, on the keys. Um, I've also scaled up our sound team with, you know, a stage tech Ian, um, Watson, and front of house guy Fabian, and obviously all the usual loop squad that you know and love. Mateo's here, Sakatumi's here, Devin Jones on the drums. We've got Hiram on the sax. Uh, we've got Alex Mills tour managing and so the squad has extended. The squad is pretty much the, the biggest it's ever been. I've also got Ben and Antoine capturing video and social media. Uh, Antoine is behind the lens right now. And um, yeah, we are all going to be staying in this beloved tour bus right here. So I don't know, if, um, you know how the dynamics are going to be. Obviously, that's the real tour bus right there. And um, so that's going to bring a whole set of its own interesting circumstances with it. And I just wanted to see, you know, I don't know if it's going to be making everyone's lives much easier or if it's going to be creating crazy friction having everyone on top of each other like this. But one thing is for certain, the next couple of weeks are going to be just a wild, wild ride. And I thought, let me document some of it however I can. So, um, yeah, this is just a welcome. And um, I'll be catching you guys in and around it all. <laughs> Peace. I'm cooling my ancestors. Alright, yo yo yo, welcome to Amsterdam. We are here today. It is gorgeous. I'm standing right outside the venue. Tonight, I think, is where this whole kind of tour really kicks off. It's the second time we played this venue. It's in a, like a historical venue. It's probably one of the top five venues in the world, arguably. And it sold out in about two days for us, which was the quickest show that we sold out on this tour. It's 1,500 seats, so it's a massive venue. And I think what's epic about shows that sell out so quickly it's, um, it just means that the people are like frothing, they're like chomping at the bit, they are ready for, for the show and a lot of people didn't get tickets tonight. So the people who are here are the people who really want to be here. These are the people who are listening to all of the songs. These are essentially the people that I'm writing the music for and with. And so like tonight's really the first night I get to perform a whole bunch of these new songs that I've been working on for people, probably the, the people who it means the most to and in one of the most beautiful venues in the world. Everyone who's anyone 
has played this venue and they don't just allow bands to play it which is what's crazy they're extraordinarily strict about who plays it and you pretty much have to be selling the Paradiso out if you don't sell the Paradiso out you probably aren't getting another shot at the Paradiso um, and so it's beautiful to be back for our second sold out show boom here's to many more do you want to go for a little tour inside let me show you around real quick Sound, there's a situation happening over here. And, uh, Check. yeah, I, I don't, you don't really need a tour. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. You see the windows behind the stage. And if you look this way, capo on the wrong fret and I basically played it in a key that we hadn't prepared well, for so in E minor and uh I know, it's good. We had yeah. positions yeah, like we, experienced we positions. That's why yeah. that's why we got the best. <laughs> yeah you guys can just figure that shit out. <laughs> are we to second are we to second you <laughs> Alright welcome to the Paradiso wrap up. Uh, the night is over. We're done. The show was next level as we'd expected. Dutch audience taking shit to, the, to new heights for us, which was just beautiful and it felt perfect tonight. So that was cool. And the band are all in the bus again. Uh, we are just finishing up with the venue. It's pretty much closed down and uh, it's kind of sad to, yeah, it's sad to say goodbye. I feel like I've just we just rolled into town and we are rolling out. I've spent some good times in Amsterdam. This is one of my favorite cities. So sad to be leaving, but we have got places to be. See you then. Peace. How could I have possibly forgot? The first show we actually played before this Amsterdam show was a massive festival called Paspop in the Netherlands. It was pretty much the craziest festival we've ever seen. We played to so many people. Just take a look.
really well. Nice. Cool.